What's going on everybody? My name is Jay Static and you're tuned into the Static Sessions. So right now what we're going to be talking about is gain staging. This is something that honestly took me a while to grasp. I understood the concept, I understood everything about it, but until my ears developed a little bit more, I didn't understand what was actually wrong in my mixes until I understood gain staging. And I know it sounds like a simple concept. Once I explain it, it's going to be like, how the hell did you had how the hell didn't you know that? But as I go through it, I'm going to explain what it is. So Gain staging is pretty much what it says in the title. It's making sure that you're keeping a good level whenever you're adding effects to your tracks. So right off the bat, if you record something and it's super hot and you have no room left over, you have no headroom. Meaning if you add in an effect that's like a compressor, which has a lot of makeup room on it, you're not going to get a lot of good compression and you're probably going to start bringing out some distortion because when you record something too hot what happens you end up getting uh clipping which ends up being distortion and distortion you can't get rid of once it's recorded it's built it's built into it there's no way of getting rid of it anyone who says you can you can't the only thing you could do is maybe reduce the level a little bit but i doubt that so but imagine now we recorded a song and I'm going to be showing you with that Deep Jandu song that we recorded that you got this nice sounding vocal and you want to start adding effects to it. You want to add some EQs, you want to sweeten it up a little bit, you want to add some compression. As you start doing that, you're going to notice your level getting a little bit louder. Um, sometimes just due to the VSC plugin, it just boosts um, on the output gain. Um, sometimes it's just you add a little bit of a limiter to it, which brings up the uh, output gain a little bit. All that stuff affects your gain staging, which is your stages of gain throughout that whole process. So what we want to do is control the gain, the output gain on every step of a VST. So right now I'm going to quickly add four or five little effects to the vocal to bring it to a point where I want it to. And what I'm going to show you is what you should be paying attention to. So this is the vocal. <laughs> Simple enough, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some compressors and EQs to this. I'm just doing this pretty quickly because I want to I want to get to the point of what I'm talking about. So I just want to make sure it's sitting here and we're getting this going. So first thing is I can see the compressor working and then I'm looking here on the output. I want to make sure it's not redlining. Good thing with Ableton is they'll tell you right away if it is or isn't. And most plugins also have an output meter, so you can always check if it's if it's clipping or anything on this end, but I see I have enough room on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in an EQ. Drop that in, start getting rid of some stuff so that we can um, Make it sound a little bit cleaner. That's good. Now I'm going to throw in some LA2A. Give some harder compression, but still natural sounding. That sounds nice to me, but I want to throw some makeup gain back in this. Boom, I like how that sounds. Now I'm going to go in, and there's something in there that I want to throw a hard compressor on. That to me sounds a little bit nicer and flatter on the low end. Now I want to sweeten this up. I'm going to throw some JJP, take a little shortcut on this. Um, I already know this sounds super sharp when we start, so I'm going to reduce some of this stuff before I even press play. So, I don't know if you can hear in the dunia part, there's a little click or something that's in there. Probably happened, maybe his jacket moved, he hit a hit something in there, or it could have been even in the recording, but it doesn't sound like a recording type of glitch. Sounds, sounds like a coat hitting something type of glitch, which is cool. 
And now I'm just going to go in and quickly add a Renaissance axe because I want to bring the vocal right to the front. I'm trying to do this as quick as we can. And in this stage, you're going to see if I bring this threshold down, and I leave this at zero. You're going to start seeing this level hit red and you're going to see this level hit red. Bloodline of Ichiyane Kane Tunia! Oh, it actually doesn't hit red because it's somewhat of a limiter, which is awesome. But throughout our gain stage, and the reason why it hasn't hit red is because we've been keeping our levels of gain pretty consistent. We've been dropping them as we need to. And the main thing you want to do with this is you'll notice when you're taking your vocals to go get mixed within a song. And while the mixing engineer is doing this, and then by the time it gets to the mastering point, all those levels of keeping everything consistent and properly gain staged equals a nice, loud, dynamic master without anything sounding compressed or overly compressed or distorted or any of those things because on every level of every plugin, of every situation, you've been keeping that gain staging or that headroom on point so that once it gets to the final point, it sounds beautiful. Now that is probably the most crucial information I have ever experienced or gained through my years. I mean from the recording aspect to the producing aspect to the mixing aspect to the mastering aspect. All of those play a great, great role. So please pay attention to that. If you have any more questions on this because gain staging, I mean you can go pretty in depth in it. Um, it doesn't only apply to just the output gain, it applies to over um, using the threshold in a compressor, uh, making it sound overly pumping and breathing also can relate to some form of distortion because you're crushing a vocal in there. So you always want to make sure you're paying attention to it. And if that did help, or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell for future notifications. And otherwise, stay tuned because we got more videos coming out. Thank you.